The Rocket Review is sponsored by Why Not Salute. We're so thrilled to have back on the show an incredible Grammy Award winning and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame musician. He's also an author, he's a teacher, photographer, artist, he does it all, Jeff Coffin. Back on the show. Thanks for having me, Eric. You know, I, I, when it. you and I bumped into each other a few weeks ago, it's like going, oh my gosh, I, I haven't had Jeff on the show and I've been remiss. I'm like going, you got anything new going on? You're like, oh yeah, you know, got a new album, got a new book. Few things. <laughs> a few things here and there. Yeah, I mean, and, and besides being, you know, a member of Dave Matthews' band, mm -hmm. you know, and that's been, what, over 13 years now? 16 years 16 now. years. Hard to believe. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, and, and with your solo career as well, which you stay busy with that, you know, you've yeah. got uh, over 23 solo albums also. Right. Right. But let's, uh, let's talk about the new album, which, new is, you know, I really uh, sunk my teeth into, uh, you know, over the past few days, which is Only the Horizon. Only the Horizon. And uh, there's so many great songs on this. But what I didn't realize, Jeff, until I started listening, is how many guest artists you have on here. There's 42 musicians on the project. <laughs> not, not all at once. <laughs> right. But there's, but there's 42 musicians on the project. But, I mean, you, you got me with some surprises. You know, yeah, there's with, some surprises on there. You know, certainly sure. with, uh, you know, Corey Wong. Yep. Um, you know, Keb Mo, mm -hmm. uh, Victor Krause. Yeah. I mean, the list goes on and on of yeah. all these guests. Yeah. That, I mean, did you just call up your buddies and go, hey, I'm doing a new album? Basically, I mean, I, I, I handpicked everybody for each tune and uh, kind of based on what I wanted. Yeah. And I had Daru Jones on five tunes on drums. I mean, he's <sighs> unbelievable. Keith Carlock, Dorico Watson, right. Nate Smith. Yeah. So there's five drummers. I think there's seven bass players. Um, Victor Wooten. Victor Wooten's on there, Victor Krauss, uh, Tony Hall, yep. Alana Rocklin, um, you know, just tons of, tons of people. Right. And uh, so uh, Jay White's on a bunch of stuff also. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, just thinking like, okay, who's going to fit on this particular tune? And there's a, uh, there's a, a number of African drummers on there, West African drummers from right. Guinea, uh, an ensemble called Yelly Ensemble, mm -hmm. which, is, which is tied into this organization I helped co-found here in town called Africa Nashville. I was going to bring that up. And it's AfricaNashville.com. And mm -hmm. so these drummers are the backbone of the entire thing. Right. Because when I was writing the music, I thought, well, the music that's influenced me so heavily in my career has been black American music mm -hmm. um, through gospel and jazz and funk and R&B, right. blah, blah, blah. And so this music has its roots, of course, in Africa, uh -huh. you know, and so a, a lot of it is West African. And so when I knew that these musicians were coming, I thought, okay, I'm going to write music that I want to integrate them into mm -hmm. because they're still playing very traditional, you know, djembe music with traditional rhythms. Exactly. Um, polyrhythms. Polyrhythms. It's all dance oriented. Yep. And I'm like, man, this is going to fit seamlessly. <laughs> and, and I was right. You know, it, 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 it just integrated like it's supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I picked musicians specifically for the purpose of, of each particular tune. I've also got Carter Beaufort on there, right. Stefan Lassard, Buddy Strong, uh, Rashawn Ross, members of Dave Matthews Band. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the Flectones are on right. there. Yeah, you know, because um, you were with Bela and the, and the Flectones for so many years 14 also. years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, 14 yeah. years with Bela and then 16 years with yeah. Dave Matthews now. Yeah, yeah. And, and 10 years teaching at Vandy. 10 years at Vanderbilt, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've it's got good plates, tenures. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing. But, you know, I've got to tell you, though, and I certainly enjoyed all of your solo albums, Jeff, but Thank this you. one especially struck me to where it really fits for, like, TV and film. Mm. Because, uh, Let's you, do know, it. you know, and I thought what was incredible, too, you know, and I love the artwork that you created yourself and also the photography you. that you did. Thank you. But, um, but there's art for each song. And, and yeah. T-shirts available, and you're mm -hmm. also doing, you know, donating to the Hurricane Relief Fund. Yeah, half of everything we sell through the T-shirts, the, the, the real T-shirts, not Facebook T-shirts. They're actual real T-shirts that I've designed. Yeah. Uh, and we're doing vinyl now also. It's a double record, right. 180 gram vinyl wow. uh, on what's called alien green vinyl. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, so it's, it's going to be super cool. And uh, so we're in the pre-order stage of that now. Mm -hmm. um, but people, you know, people can check that out and it'll be around. Yeah. And uh, hopefully by the end of the year, beginning of the year, people will have that alien green vinyl in their, in their little hands, you know. I think they will. Because, uh, I mean, I'll tell you what, you know, I, I just, 
And once again, listening to your music and, and you know, knowing you and appreciating you and, and certainly all the musicians that you brought together. But it's just very relaxing to me, you know, listening mm. to the depth of the music. And I can't mm. believe also, Jeff, that you recorded 60% of this in your home studio. Yeah, I have a, I have a little studio above my garage. And uh, so we did a lot of the drums, uh, some of the bass, a lot of the keyboards, Leo Genovese on keys on a bunch of stuff who's, you know, he also plays with the Mars Volta. Right. But won a Grammy Award for playing with Wayne Shorter and Esperanza Spalding. <laughs> you know, I mean, you talk about a, a chameleon. Uh -huh. He's unbelievable. You know, from yeah. Argentina, he's a beautiful, brilliant, brilliant musician. Wow. And uh, so I had just bought a Rhodes, Fender Rhodes, and we had done a little tour with the trio I have with Victor Krauss and Jordan Pearlson. Right. And we're in the middle of our next record as well. And uh, so we had done a little touring, and Leo was staying with us for a couple of days. I was like, man, I got this record. You know, you want to do some keyboards on it? He's like, yeah, bro, let's do it. So we spent a couple hours upstairs, and he just knocked it out. And uh, Only you, Jeff. Well, why not, you know? Yeah. And so with, with Kev, Kev was funny because, you know, I've, I've, I ended up doing some stuff with him and Taj Mahal on his new record also, mm -hmm. which was incredible. Um, but so we've known each other for years, you know, and... and one time he was over, I, uh, I make this really great um, uh, ginger tea ah. with lemon and fresh sage that's out in our backyard and, you know, blend it all up with oh, a little honey. Wow. It's, I mean, it's tremendous. Mm -hmm. And so I, so I asked him if he would play on the record. He said, he said yeah, man. He says, but he says, you got to make me some of that tea. <laughs> you know, so, so he, he traded barter. me out for the, the, I was like, well, you know, uh, you know, like, how about, you know, is this fee okay for you? He's like, man, just make me some of that tea. And, and I'm good. I'm like, man. And his guitar playing sounds so good on this album. I'll, he, he and I'll, Victor I'll is hooked. Man, I'll tell you what, witnessing what he did in the studio, because I was sitting this close to him, mm -hmm. you know, taking pictures and just being like, uh, my jaw was on the floor. And because uh, he's such a great producer also. Mm -hmm. And uh, so witnessing him listening to it, because he had already heard it a little bit. But, but crafting and carving out his part, he'd be listening, go, oh, yeah, let me hear that one more time. Uh, he'd try, try some stuff and, uh, okay, I, uh, yeah, okay, let's try something. And he would play something. I'd be like, oh, my God. And he'd be like, uh, okay, I got it. Let's do it again. Wow. And that would be the take. Right. Right? And I, it, it was crazy. It was like watching Michelangelo sculpt. Right. You know, and you started to see the face, and I'm just going, mm -hmm. What? Yeah, what is, what is coming to life? You know, and I think that's what's so interesting, too, with this project, you know, with only the horizon, Jeff, to where, you know, the, the depth, you know, you were able to still distill a live sound to it, mm -hmm. right. which is not easy to do, it's as not we easy. both knew, in, in no. studio. And certainly, you know, with Dave Matthews and with all of the projects you've been involved with, you're a live musician. Yeah. But to make an album sound live, that's a challenge. It's tricky, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, so when I did it, I had the tunes demoed. I was using loops and different things, and I had my parts on there. Yeah. So when people were playing to it, they were playing to my parts, mm -hmm. and they were also to playing to other stuff that was already on there. Gotcha. And uh, so it's it's tricky to decide, like, you know, when do I get the drums and when do I get the bass? Mm -hmm. You know, and what do I keep and what do I replace? Totally. And then what do I add on? So it's it's. You know, you said use the word distilled, which I use that word a lot also to figure out like what's the essence of what I'm trying to get right. to. Right. You know, my wife works a lot with essential oils. This company called DoTerra, and so they're distilling their oils to get the mm -hmm. essence yeah. of the plants. But I mean, I think you did it so well with this project. I think it's so great too with with the artwork with each song and the T-shirts and the mm -hmm. vinyl. But I've got to bring up also your new book because how many books do you have now? Um, a bunch. A bunch. Yeah, that's, you know, that's when you don't know how many books you have, Jeff. Right there it is. Yeah. It's well, like, you know, I do them for my students. So, and, and a it, lot of them you do as digital downloads also. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're physically available as print on demand through Ingram Spark. Mm -hmm. um, and all those links are on my, on my website, uh, which is jeffcoffin.com. Right. But so, so for a book like this, it's all left handed etudes. So, what I'm meaning is that I'm playing everything with my left hand. Mm -hmm. So, when I recorded it, I put my right hand on the table, and I recorded that way, so I wouldn't... It's like, it's like having one arm tied behind your back. Well, right, and so I was dealing with a little bit of trigger finger in my pinky, right? And so I was trying to kind of not use it a bunch. Right. And uh, so I thought, well, one of my students was dealing with some what are called voicing issues, oh. meaning like the, the being able to jump from one note to the next mm -hmm. and keep it in tune, which is kind of a physical thing for us um, that are wind players. And so I thought, well, this is going to help him right. 
And, and so I developed, you know, I started doing it. I was like, okay, what am I going to get into? And so I started doing kind of wider leaps mm -hmm. within the instrument, you know? Wow. And so I thought, okay, that's going to be, that's going to be the book doing these wide mm -hmm. leaps, doing them slowly. But I thought, what a great concept, because, yeah. you know, I think with any musicians, you know, uh, we can fall into habits. Sure. You know, and, and our usual habits, when we pick up an instrument. What the I usual, call a rut. A, a yeah. total, the rut, yeah. you know, the usual songs, the usual, you know, that we always do. But then to remove, you know, one hand. Right. It you changes know, it's, things. It, tol it changes you mentally. You know, yeah. it's like with guitarists changing tunings. Yeah. And it's like, okay, suddenly you have to re rethink all of your chording. Right. You're forcing that by going with one hand. Yeah, yeah. And so for me, it was interesting because it, it, it improved certain things that I didn't know needed improvement. Mm. Because again, like you said, you know, you're taking away certain things. You're giving yourself some parameters to right. work within. But those are the only parameters. The creativity isn't limited. Mm -hmm. Just the, the, the area that you're working within. Right, right. You know, so I was limited to a certain amount of notes. That's brilliant. And so I had to try to make the most of that. It was really fun. It was really interesting. Uh, I thought it was really a creative endeavor that for me also. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, with my students, it, it seems to work pretty well. I think so. Well, also what works pretty well, and I've got to bring this up to where, you know, you've got a new Christmas single coming out. Yeah, I got a whole new Christmas record with a group that I uh, co-founded called Band of Other Brothers. Right. And uh, I'll let you figure out the acronym. But uh, <laughs> so we, we just released a single, Santa Claus is Coming to Jam. And it's funky, man, the whole thing. It sounds thing, so good. It's like, it's, it's just funky, in your face, yep. but still has the holiday feel. Yeah, yeah. And so it's, it's across the board. And so I brought in three tunes. The, the title of the record's, um, um, uh, oh God, what is the title of the record? Uh, this Year at Christmas. Yeah. And uh, I had to go through the titles in my the, head for a second. The single sounds great. This single is killing. Yeah, so it's Keith Carlock on drums, who plays mm -hmm. with Steely Dan. Right. Will Lee on bass, who played with Letterman for all those oh years. Jeff Babko on keys, who's mm -hmm. on the Kimmel Show. Yep. And uh, in Near Felder, who plays with like Erica Badu and Jill Scott and, and Keon Harrell and everybody else. And uh, he's a brilliant, brilliant guitarist. Wow. And so we recorded up in New York. Um, mm -hmm. We kind of demoed everything out. Yeah. Went to the studio for a few days and. Knocked it out, did some overdubs, and for uh, a very funky Christmas. Uh, it's a very funky Christmas. <laughs> yeah, which there's nothing wrong with that. No, you know, it's, you, it's know be you, great. you can't just keep playing the standards like they're always done. Right, right. You know, and so we got to talk about this. Um, you know, certainly, you know, three Grammys and everything else, yeah. and and the awards and everything else that you've achieved. Certainly, starting to play saxophone in fifth grade, and mm -hmm. and your mentors over the years, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, I mean, what an honor, man. I mean, you know, we're all pretty excited about it. Yeah. And I mean, here's the thing with the awards, man, is that you, we never do it for the awards. No. But, but when they come in, uh, when you feel that respect from your peers, mm -hmm. I mean, this, you know, Matthews has been together now for 33 years. Wow. And uh, next year I will have been with the band half the time. Right, I'm just going to bring that up. You know, and, and I mean, it's gone by so fast. Yeah. And... We love each other, man. The mm -hmm. chemistry is amazing. It shows on stage. And uh, it does show on stage. There's a lot of joy coming mm -hmm. off that stage. It really is. And, uh, and, and the and interplay, I think. As the a interplay band. is incredible. Everybody listens at the highest level. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody's practicing and at the highest level of their game. It shows. And uh, so I think it does show. And it's, it's, you know, it's what we dream of as kids when we're playing music. It's like, right. I want to be in a band. I want to play in front of 20,000 people. Well, and, especially to be in a band know? like Dave Matthews, which is you know, rock, pop band, however you want to try and categorize it, but also to its core, it's a jam band. You know, when you guys are, are live, you know, you, you have parameters, but you also get to expand those. Yeah, he's, he's really great about giving everybody a lot of solos. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, I was telling one of my students the other day that the Matthews Band, I think, in one way exists because of Sting's Dream of the Blue, Dreams of, Dream of the Blue Turtles, oh, yeah. which came out in the mid 80s. Mm -hmm. And that had like Brent from Marcellus, Kenny Kirkland, <gasps> Omar Hakim and Daryl Jones, totally. I love you know, it. and so that was kind of a similar sound, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, and I think that he he kind of broke open pop music in a way, and then kind of went back into kind of his own thing. But those couple of records, Bring on the Night, also, that stuff, man, was like, right, really forward thinking, and 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 I think that that it, it sort of opened people's ears mm -hmm. for when Dave came along with these brilliant tunes, right. 
and all these incredible so musicians, well jazz musicians. Mm -hmm. You know, you can tell. I mean, Stefan was fifteen Which is what when we he were joined brought the band. up on. Right, right. And so you can't unknow that. Right. You know, but also I've got to bring this up, Jeff, to where you know you've been with Yamaha for a lot of years mm -hmm. and played a lot of Yamaha instruments, but yep. a special instrument was created just for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, so, so it's, uh, it's being engraved uh, as we speak uh, from uh, one of the Yamaha repairmen up in New York, a guy named Tomoji, uh, who does brilliant, beautiful engraving. And uh, so I sent him a horn and uh, had the lacquer stripped off. So this horn has no lacquer. Mm -hmm. That's why it looks so beautiful. Beautiful. You know? And uh, there's no shine to it is, is, uh, is what ends up happening. It's like for guitarists, it's like relic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and, it's the uh, horn version. Yep, yeah, and so he's doing a bunch of engraving on it, and uh, um, I'll have um, my name, my last name on it, and my wife's family's last name in kanji in the Japanese on there, and uh, have DMB here at the top. Yeah, it'll have a bunch of names on it. It's going to have the Cosmic Hippo from the Flectones. Right, and uh, Dave has done a, a, a piece of art of uh, of Leroy Moore. That's going to be on there. Also, Grugrux King, mm -hmm. and uh, that'll be on there. And whatever else Tomoji decides to do. Wow. And so that'll be the piece that I donate to the hall. Wow, so incredible. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you've got so much going on. I want to make sure for the new album, for the Christmas album, for the book, for and also you've done over 300 clinics. Well over 300 clinics, yeah. And it's like going, yeah. are you trying to beat a, a number? Is there a number in your head? <laughs> no, I just, just love doing, doing it, man. I just, I love teaching. <laughs> and uh, my degree from North Texas is actually in music education. Right, and, I know. Uh, so I've done it for years. And, you know, I was at the W.O. Smith School for a while also, mm -hmm. back when I first got here. And now 10 years at Vanderbilt. 10 years at Vanderbilt. I mean, I love, I, I love going in. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know how much I would love doing a weekly teaching thing right but I've got some incredible students and and uh, um, and they're funny you know I have yeah. the top small group writing all their own material wow. and recording at the end of every semester and and I think it makes you a better musician also teaching no because you really have to think about what you're doing whereas otherwise sometimes it's muscle memory yeah well it's said that you teach best what you most need to learn mm. and uh, so I, I, I keep them I ask them more questions than they ask me <laughs> you know I really do and, and I learn so much from them and uh, it's, it's an honor and a joy at the same time, man. Right. And, and so we talk about life, but we use music as the metaphor. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's fantastic. Powerful. And Ryan Mitta, who's the head of the Jazz Studies Department, has, has worked what I consider a miracle over there yeah. in 11 years. He's brought that program from being peripheral, there's never going to be a Jazz Studies major, to now there's a Jazz Studies with like kind of a, a, a global music concentration. Wow. Within that, They've won, the bands have won, I don't know, like nine downbeat awards. Oh my gosh. They're going to be performing at the Jazz Education Network Conference. Uh, I'll be there with the Sax Loft mm -hmm. um, uh, in January, also right. down in Atlanta. Which is another project that you have going. Yeah, another project. Plus my, my record label, Ear Up Records. Right. Uh, Ear Up Your own independent musical app, yep. record. Yeah. You know, and uh, so, you know, it's a labor of love, man, but this is what I love to do. So yeah. it doesn't, some days it feels like work, but most days it feels like fun. And, mm -hmm. But it's, it's, you know, it's a grind. Well, you're a creative force of nature. I want to make sure yeah, for our viewers, you. Jeff, that uh, for your website, for social media, to get the books, to get the music, to come yeah. see you live. Come on. Everything. Where do they need to go? JeffCoffin.com. Okay. Yep. For all of it. All of it. Yeah. And, and so now you're going to have like TikTok stuff going and everything too? I don't do TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old for TikTok. <laughs> I'll tell you what though. You know, uh, be sure, you know, however you consume music, right there, uh, only the horizon. Be sure and, and listen to it. It's going to be available on vinyl. You want to get that. Also check out the t-shirts on Jeff's website. A great album. Thank you. And, and, uh, and you got the Christmas album coming out. The yep. single sounds amazing. New book and always on tour with Dave Math Matthews or one of your multiple band projects. Yep. yep. So, I mean, they're going to have to follow you to keep up with it all. Come on, follow along. Yeah. Okay, well, Jeff Coffin, thank you so much for coming on The Rock Thanks, Interview. Thanks, everybody. And uh, be sure and check out the book and the new music. Yes, sir. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. The Rocket Review is sponsored by Why Not Saloon.